hightransfix.nl. This is Steve from the Filthy Curs. I'm doing really, really well, thank you. Um, lately I've been working on a couple of new tracks which I'm going to be playing for the first time tonight at tonight's show. And also um, they're tracks which are going to be on my album which will be coming out later in the year. And the show is really um, the, what I feel are the best tracks that I've made over the past 10 or 12 years. Not just for my thrill seekers guys but also from Rapid Eye and Hydra. And I've remixed each track and kind of brought them up to date and produced them into a set. And what I can do on stage is actually remix the tracks and play around with uh, various elements. So I can drop in vocals, uh, tweak around with the drums, and also play live drums and live keyboards as well. Um, I absolutely love DJing. I just For me, it was um, when you're DJing on stage, there's only so much you can do. Uh, you can play one record and play another. If you're playing live, then there's, um, there's quite a lot of improvising that I can do and a lot of tweaking. So there's a lot more for me to do and a lot more to get involved in. So I really enjoyed that. Um, yes, I do get nervous. Um, I think if you don't get nervous, then there's something wrong. Um, the biggest difference um, from, well, from the crowd, I guess, is that each track that I play is a track that I've um, written and produced myself. Um, so you won't hear other people's tracks in there. Um, and of course, rather than playing one track after another, I'm just, a lot of improvising is going on with the keyboards and the drums. And um, yeah, I think those are the main differences, actually.
Well, I'm going to try two new tracks tonight, so I'm really looking forward to trying those. But up until now, my favourite live track has been Synesthesia, just because of the, the reaction that it gets. Um, it's, up until now, it's been the last track that I play, and it's been like the pinnacle of the show. Uh, but tonight, it's going to be a different track, which I play last, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, yes, it is about six months. The actual melody came about very, very quickly. And because it was my first release, I kind of knew that melody was very strong. And I thought that if I could actually make this um, sound like a record, then I've got a good chance of um, having some success with the record. And I was never really confident that it was sounding great after two or three weeks. So I just worked away and worked away and worked away. And it was about six months until I took the track to Neo Records and they signed it. and. That's where it all began. Um, I think I actually enjoy all three, but I think um, being in the studio is fantastic for the week and, and for the day job, so to speak. But of course, on the weekend, um, it's great to get out and to actually meet the people and to perform in front of them. Uh, I love performing as a DJ and also as an artist. So uh, all three, um, I love all three. Um, it kind of comes from everywhere, I guess. Um, significant life events are uh, very inspiring. Um, also, something that may not personally affect me directly, but something that has happened elsewhere in the world, which I feel a connection with. Uh, one example of that would be um, my latest track, Song for Sendai, uh, which was written after um, the tsunami in Japan. Um, as I just returned from Japan, I felt a bit of a connection and. Um, yeah, I felt really inspired to sit down and write a piece of music, um, which obviously Song for Sendai is the result of. Um, when I sit down in the studio, either um, I'll sit down and just lay some drums down just to set the groove or the style of the track. Um, but um, of course, drums on their own are nothing, so um, obviously you need to build a melody from somewhere. Um, sometimes, uh, with Synesthesia, for example, um, I had the melody kind of in my head and that came about very, very quickly, although the actual production took a long time to finish. So it kind of varies, I guess. I started listening to dance music um, whilst I was at music college when I was 16, so I've been back a good 20 years now. Um, I guess the Renaissance album was um, the first dance album, well, not just for me, but for a lot of people. And that inspired me and kind of drew me into the scene. And then I started to go clubbing as well. And it was actually um, this guy here that kind of really triggered things off for me with um, Offshore, which was a huge track for me and inspired me to kind of get involved. So um, to be actually playing here with Nick tonight is a yeah, great privilege. <laughs> there were so many, I don't think I could just pick one. Um, I think one of my favourites is Escape, just because it's so chilled and relaxed and I just love the way the whole track builds. Uh, I also love, obviously, Synesthesia because of it's actually, that was the track that started the whole thing rolling for me, so um, that means a lot to me as well. New challenges. Um, the challenges are the same, I think. There were different ways to tackle those challenges. The new pieces, of, new pieces of equipment coming out literally every week. There's something new to learn. You need to um, keep on top of the production style as well because the production is always changing and you don't want to be sounding you know, too old or too different to what's going on. So you need to keep your finger on the pulse. But at the same time, I find that quite exciting. So it's not a challenge that I, uh, I don't like to take on. So. Um, and of course, there are so many young producers coming through now that are so talented as well, so you need to be aware of what's going on and just try and keep up with um, what is going on. It feels great to be playing here with Chicane. Um, as I've said already, um, the, a lot of my inspiration came from 
you know, a lot of tracks that they've produced, and it's been great to work with Nick over the years. Um, will we be making anything together in the future? Well, um, Nick will be playing on my upcoming album. Um, he doesn't have the track yet, um, but this will happen this year, fingers crossed. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, there were, we have like four new vocal tracks on there, which uh, were some very special vocalists. And also, a lot of the tracks are more um, down-tempo, although there will be club mixes uh, to, to follow, of course. And a lot of the tracks, um, some of the tracks I've written, I wrote like two or three years ago, and I'm kind of tweaking along the way. And I mean, it's not all dance music, it's, um, it's a, a real mixed bag. Of The production element is very much more, I don't know, it's very technical now compared to how it used to be. There are a lot more um, plugins and sound shaping tools that are used to get the sound that is, um, I guess, current and up to date. The actual production of the melody, though, um, remains the same. You know, you need a good, strong melody and good um, chords to, to make the track effective, but at the same time, it needs to be up to date and cutting edge, which means keeping on top of all the technology. Um, no, very definitely no more thrill seekers. Um, the name, well, all the really good names have already been taken and that one seemed to uh, be the only one left. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, I guess it all started with my father who played drums and played music. Um, from 7 o'clock in the morning till 7 o'clock at night, which, you know, was pretty cool, apart from on a Sunday morning when I had a hangover. Um, but yeah, it was. Um, my parents were very supportive with the music and allowed me to, um, to make a lot of noise in the house as well, with the keyboards and things, which, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for. <laughs> Um, usually my assistants, but tonight I'm going to be playing um, my latest track, which nobody has actually heard the finished um, results, so uh, I guess the audience tonight will be the first. Um, there are no immediate plans at the moment, um, but maybe next year we could be looking at Light Music 4. My biggest project this year will be to finish my album and then actually take the live concept to the next level with a vocalist and more integrated visuals on stage which I'll be kind of controlling um, from the cockpit as it were, so that's the next big step.